Welcome to a defining moment in the history of television broadcasting. This is the ITU, the International Telecommunications Union, here in Geneva, Switzerland. And engineers have gathered here from all around the world to decide what happens to television in future. It's called Ultra High Definition Television, UHD TV. Now, it's not something for tomorrow, but you can be sure it's something that our children will enjoy. And here are some ways to get to grips with UHD TV. This is a camera that I bought in 2004. It's, uh, it's one I'm not going to show you my holiday pictures on it, but it has a label on the back that says 2 megapixels. So the camera is capable of resolution of 2 million pixels. And this is about the same resolution as you get with a high-definition television broadcast. Now, this other camera is one that I bought just recently and it has a label on it of 10 megapixels. So this is about equivalent to the lower of two levels of ultra high definition television. This is equivalent to what's called the 4K layer. Now there is an 8K layer and that's the one that's on the picture behind me. That has 32 million pixels. 32 megapixels. We can't buy cameras like that today. Imagine that this is a normal television picture, maybe like the one that you're watching right now with us on it. Now, when you make a, a standard definition television program, this is the space you have to play with. When you go to high definition, you have a larger palette for your work. And it's about like this. It's four or five times the amount that you have with a standard definition picture. Now, when we go up to ultra high definition, we have even more space to play with. So if we go first of all to our 4K level, this is what we have to play with when we make our television programs. What about when we go to our 8K level, the 32 megapixel level? Well, the space available, the palette, is like this. You see, it's very large indeed, plenty of space for lots of detail, lots of action. This is 32 megapixel UHD TV. And to go with these fantastic pictures, you need fantastic sound as well. And there are two ways of providing it in this demonstration. One is to have columns of loudspeakers built up around the room. The other way, which is a bit less obtrusive in the home, is to have a row of loudspeakers along the top and along the sides of the display. In either case, you can tell where the sound direction is laterally, horizontally, or vertically. This is 22.2 channel audio. But what do we need this extra quality for? I mean, we choose a program based on what it is, not the technical quality, don't we? Well, that's true, but there is more to it because the quality affects the relationship that you have with the television program. And the first thing that happens as you increase the quality is that the level of stress you experience goes down. You feel calmer, your pulse rate goes down. And also, this means that uh, you perceive the program to pass more quickly. So the perceived duration of the program is shorter. And also, your sense of involvement, your emotional involvement in the content grows as the quality rises. And all of these three things add up to this. The zapping moment, the point where you change channel or change program, gets longer. The higher the quality, the longer you'll watch the program, all other things being equal. And this is the key reason for having these higher qualities. It gives the viewer more enjoyment, more involvement, and they watch the program for rather longer. And it may be that with a system like the 32 megapixel UHD TV system, that duration may even be doubled. In Japan, uh, we believe that uh, we can start test broadcasting of ultra high definition television as early as the year 2020. But uh, we'll try to bring forward that start as early as possible. There is a famous social scientist, Marshall McLuhan, who coined the phrase, the medium is the message. He meant that it is technology and what it is capable of doing that changes society rather than any particular program or content we see. Well, if this is true, how do you think ultra-high definition television is going to change broadcasting 
or society in the years ahead.